here it is the echo sleeper saw looks like a regular old 600p no extra holes p comp still over there oh look maybe just a little muffler mod underneath the covers it's got the 50 millimeter cylinder brings this up to 73 cc's welcome back everyone dino joe here just finished putting back together the first echo hybrid this is the one with the 680 cylinder and the spacers and the custom muffler i'll show you a little bit up close this is on the original chassis cs 600 one neat thing about these 600s is some of them actually have a larger od crank bearing so that makes them a real good candidate for these hybrids i don't know why echo did it i don't know why they got rid of it but some of these 600s do have larger main bearings. Put on the dyno, see what kind of power it puts out. All right, here's an up close look with the 50 millimeter bore and the 37.6 millimeter stroke on the 590 through 620s. This comes out to 73 cc's. You can see the spacer I had to make because of the longer stroke and longer rod and different stack up height. This is the Echo CS680 cylinder. Or late model 670 made an adapter to change the angle of the exhaust port made the muffler to fit the exhaust port adapter see the only thing really done with this one widen the lowers a little bit the uppers are not touched squish band is cut to fit the piston minimal done on the intake just raise and widen the exhaust yes it is ugly in there this one sent it out for some testing and the tune went a little crazy and it locked up so i cleaned it up put it back into use just to play with this is just a test just something to do there is a real thin spacer on the intake flange between the boot and the flange you can kind of see it right there and here's the piston again like i said cleaned it up put it back into service is it right no probably not but it works on these builds, you have to open up the distance here to fit the connecting rod. You can see it's been opened up in there. Give it just enough wiggle room to fit down in. Here you can see the connecting rod. You can see this bearing's a little bit narrower than what the rod is. This is the KTM 50SX wrist pin bearing. You need to change this out, the Echo one out, because the Echo uses an 11 millimeter pin. Or the piston that we're using, the bigger Echoes, or the Husqvarna, or even the steel pistons, they use 12 millimeter pins. This is a Husqvarna 268 piston. Nice wide skirt. Like I said, I cleaned it up. You can't catch on a low spot, but carbon can build up. Clean up the gasket areas, slap this back together, and I'll finally get down the dyno, see what kind of power this build did put out. All right, here it is, all put on. You can see some fins shaved off the top, some out in this area to fit the mount, some shaved off the front, there's the top of that exhaust block, see this is a dual port, you sneak in through there to tighten the muffler on, then the brace bolts are still on the bottom. I press these rings on to run the steel mount. Rim set up, plastic handlebar, 620 carb, 620 coil, so it's unlimited. I'll finish putting these plastics on. You can see on the plastics here, the angle of the plug's a little bit different. This has to be opened up. Same thing. Some spots on here that have to be opened up. So basically, if you're going to build these, get the get the cylinder bolted down with the piston you want to use and trim anything that hits if this is your kind of content make sure to hit the like button subscribe so you can see more thanks a lot everybody fuel and oil tanks are both full this is the plastic handlebar and plastic 590 600 clutch cover 14 pounds 11.2 ounce There it is in KG. So, 
power to weight ratio is really in this saw's favor. Here's the result. Numbers in the box taken at 10,800, which is where the hybrid peaks. And this is a Echo 7310. I threw that one on the graph because Echo hadn't made these when I was making these hybrids first. 7310 peaks back here, right about 9,000 RPM. It's about 5.8 horsepower right here. And the hybrid's about 7.4. The hybrid's about 27% more power peak to peak. Well, peak to working on peak. The hybrid peaks up here at 10.8, 7.85. So from peak to peak, the hybrid's about 35% more power than the Echo 7310. They're both 73 cc's with the hybrid. This is the first time I've had this one on the dyno. So this is new for me as well. But it makes sense. It's always ran a bit higher up top. If you want to build one of these hybrids yourself, just let me know. I'll help help walk you through as much as I can. It's definitely a fun project. They can make lots of power in a small package. So, like I said, just let me know. All right, thanks a lot, everybody. All right, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Is this something you'd want to run? No, maybe.